I want to talk about the timing of God. For example, you might have prayed many times about something and it hasn't happened yet and you might, maybe you're wondering what's going on. Well, it's important to understand God's timing here or we could end up getting discouraged and think God's not willing to help us or to fulfil a promise that he's made to us. Now, God's timing can be seen in a lot of places in the Bible, but one example can be found in Exodus. In chapter 1, we can read about how the children of Israel were suffering greatly under Egyptian oppression. However, the man who was to lead them out of Egypt wasn't even born until chapter 2. So although God did have a plan to rescue them, it was in hand. He also had a time for it. They may have wondered where he was, but his plan was already in motion, but they didn't see that. When he did deliver them, though, it was an opportunity to show his great power to all Egypt and to them too. Exodus 11.9 says, But the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh will not heed you, so that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. See, God had a time for them to come out, and when he did, it was awesome. And the death of Lazarus in John 11 in the New Testament is another example. When he'd been dead four days when Jesus arrived, and how great a miracle was seen by all those who, who heard, saw it and those who heard it as well. Verse 45 says, Then many of the Jews had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did, believed in him. See, once again, many saw and heard of the mighty power of God and many believed. Jesus hadn't hurried because he walked in the perfect timing of God. And the closer we are to God, the more we'll be able to do that as well. And we can be at peace knowing that God will do all his promise, but he'll do it in his time. That doesn't mean we shouldn't pray or be expectant. We should. It just means that if our prayers don't seem to have been answered immediately and in the way we expect, we shouldn't lose heart or panic. God's timing is perfect, and if he can raise a man from the dead after four days, what do we have to worry about? Because things that have been possible with men are possible with God.